Hi everyone, it's another transformation video. Woo! I'm actually filming this the day before I go to the hairdresser. So tomorrow is April 12th, the hairdresser's open again, and I am getting my hair cut. I am very lucky that I can go right on the first day because my cousin actually cuts my hair and she does a great job. I'm just wanting to show a before. So here you go, have a look at my roots. They are, like if I do that, like I could be a brunette. What am I doing? <laughs> I've just been thinking like I'm not loving my hair ATM. It's just, it's just a bit long and like I don't know, I go through phases of loving my hair long and then hating my hair long and I'm in a bit of a phase of hating my hair long ATM. So I'm thinking I'm gonna chop it to like here. My hair does grow pretty fast, I think. Like now I'm saying that I've probably jinxed it but it'll always grow back. I don't know, I'm like trying to psych myself into having a haircut. Anyway, this is my little before. How are we all? <laughs> First of all, did you enjoy those two clips that I filmed of me getting my hair done? And it wasn't even of me getting my hair done, it was of me drinking a nice coffee. I am obsessed again. And look, look at that layer. Anyway, that's not what you came here for. Um, <laughs> oh, my hair. So this is the first reveal of my hair. It's not at its, you know, tip top. I did a transition, wait. <laughs> I, bet, I bet I've done that really bad. That was probably the worst transition I've ever seen in my whole entire existence. Can you believe how much I've cut off? Like it feels weird doing this because I feel like I should have to go down longer. Do you know what I mean? Okay, so why I haven't filmed anything since I got my hair done is because I got home and I was absolutely shattered because I went so early. Then I did my brows. I used the dye brow, which I always use, and I think I've showed before, so I didn't really show much of me doing that. And then I put on some tan. I used the Isle of Paradise dark mousse, I think it's called, but I'll put an image of it over now. Then I completely crashed. I actually have got a bit of a cold, if you could tell. Like, not a COVID cold, more like a, my nose won't stop running and is really pissing me off cold. I wasn't in the mood for my 24 hour transformation and to be honest, I haven't really slept that much either. So, once I got my hair done, I did actually quickly take some Instagram photos and Amy took them for me and I blame Amy completely for giving me this cold. So, Amy, you're in the bad books, really. Anyway, today, this face needs transforming. I put the tan on though and it feels nice. You know the tan from my skincare video and this time I remembered to wash my hands. <laughs> I have also done a COVID test and I know it's not COVID. So I feel safe enough to go get my nails done. That's what I'm doing today. I'm getting my nails done because here you go, here's a before. I could do like a cool nail tra transition. Um, let me think of one that I could do. Okay, I've been thinking about it for like a solid 10 minutes and I can't think of a nail transition that isn't cringe. I was like thinking, should I flick the screen? Oh God, no. So instead, you're just gonna have a nice little montage of me getting my nails done. Hope that's okay. See you soon.
morning. I've got my nails done. Maybe I'll hide my face because it's not, she's not looking cute. It feels so nice to have really fresh long nails and actually really nice toes too, but I'm not gonna show you them because people kind of have an issue with toes and I don't blame them because toes are kind of weird. This video has been a bit of a fail so far because I got my hair done, then got ill and couldn't film for the rest of the day. Yesterday, got my nails done and then I may have gone to the pub and forgot to film anything else. Like and subscribe. <laughs> So that's that. Anyway, so today I'm going to make sure I film loads for you and me because this is meant to be a transformation and I've only done two things. I am actually going to the gym. So I've joined this new gym with my sister. I'm really excited because gym, gym, gyms have only just opened. Then I'm obviously gonna take everything off that checklist I had yesterday which is face mask, makeup, clothes. Then you can see me better and I'll show my nails better and I'll just do some you know better clips. Okay I might film some clips at the gym but it is a new gym so I might get scared so I might see you after. gym I never feel like I can talk properly in these masks but this one is a vitamin C one it's a bit weird you like shook it up in the packaging and then put it on quite like it quite like it <laughs> I said it like that and also I thought whilst I have this on I could also do this if you watched my what I got for Christmas video Amy got me this for Christmas so hopefully it still works <laughs> I'm just looking in the viewfinder to see if they look whiter, which, you know what, I think they do. I think they have worked. My skin feels so soft. So skin's done, whitening has done in the teeth area. <laughs> and now I'm gonna do my makeup. So I've shown my base makeup before, but because I haven't shown it in a while, I'll just quickly run through what I use. So I use the CBD Nourishing Essence Spray first, then I'm going to use Wonder Glow, then I'm going to use L'Oreal True Match, then I'm going to use the Collection Concealers. I'm going to set it all with Rimmel Stay Matte. I like to use Hoola. Um, I benefit for contour. I then use MAC Gimme Sun and then for blusher I use this Milani baked blush I think it is like genuinely can't read anything that's on the back of that and then the front of it is this is really old probably out of date um, I got it in New York about <laughs> I don't know, so, so long ago. So probably should be using that, but I still do. And then I like to use the collection Gorgeous Glow. What's this called again? Highlighter. So that's what I'm gonna do, and then I'll come back when I'm doing my eyes. Okay, so I finished my base makeup. I have gone a bit hard with the blusher, but I watched Madison Beer's makeup tutorial, and she goes hard on the blusher, so you know, one step closer to becoming Madison Beer, I think, you know, I'll take it. <laughs> so for the eyes, what I've been doing recently is using this candle palette, which I showed ages ago now when I unboxed it. And I just use this like light brown color here. And I only use it in the outer corner of my eye because I like the kind of lifting, 
technique. I'm not a makeup artist, so my wording is not the best. <laughs> but yeah, so I just use that light brown colour and then I go in with the dark brown colour colour <laughs> colour and with an angled brush and just do a small wing and that's just my everyday look but I thought I would you know spice things up a bit and use this little like rose goldy eyeliner as well and Chloe got me this for Christmas I'm using loads of Christmas presents today and then I'm gonna do my lips and my mascara for mascara i use sky high then for lips i'm going to use my mac strip down I've got a charlotte tilbury lipstick i'm not sure where it is called bitch perfect i'll put that on and then i'm going to use the everything everywhere gloss by kylie cosmetics as well yeah I forgot to mention number one my brows are refi brows and number two I'm gonna do the inner corner parts of my eye with brown eyeliner as well sorry my voice is so like bunged up um, because again Madison Beer does it so now I feel like I want to do it <laughs> I am gonna do my hair and I'm just gonna straighten it and put a little bit of a, a, a curl, like loop it under a little bit. Anyway, I've got this from Molly May because when I saw she cut her hair, kind of inspired me to cut my hair too, kind of. I, was, I wanted to do it anyway. But anyway, the way she styles her hair is really nice, so I'm taking inspo from that. So her video, she does also show you how she does her hair. So if you want a more in-depth explanation I'd suggest going over there. Alrighty, don't know why I just said alrighty. I'm still getting used to how to style it because this is a lot shorter than I'm used to and I haven't even really tried curling it or anything yet so that that will be interesting <laughs> to see if I can do it but I put these big like Pat Butchery style earrings in because I feel like with short hair you can get away with it whereas with long hair it can like there's a fine line between like whether it looks a bit chavvy I don't know so I've gone on Nasty Gal and the first thing I got were these jeans they're like wide leg blue jeans I'm obsessed with wide leg blue jeans <laughs> and I've actually already worn these they're in a photo on my Instagram. Now we can go to like pubs and stuff. I don't just want to wear trainers everywhere and so I have had these in my saved for ages and they're just like white shiny boots. I don't know if I can pull these off but I'm gonna give it a go. These are very on trend ATM. But like loads of people are getting really colourful ones which I love but they won't go with everything and so I decided to get just some plain white ones and they've got a bit of a platform so it makes the heel less tall so I'm gonna like put an outfit together now and then I'll show you okay so I've picked an outfit I've just got this black top my white shirt the jeans God, I've got to go far way back and then I have got the heels on too but can you even see them? Let's show you a close up, they're like this. I feel 10,000 times better now that everything is open. My nails are so good. I don't think I've shown you a close up of my nails so I'll still do that. Maybe I have but I'm obsessed with them so look at them again. Harriet, you are amazing at nails. If anyone wants to know where I get my nails from or just want some nail inspo, I'll put her Instagram on now. Amazing job. Is my camera wonky? Was a little bit, sorry about that. So all in all, I had my hair done, had my nails done, did my tan, did my eyebrows, did my teeth, did my makeup, did my, got a new outfit. Like genuinely, this is probably the most I've ever done in a short period of time. Anyway, thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you next week.